if you do have a working DVD drive on your PlayStation 2 Slim and you do not have a free McBoot card, then you can use this tool. It's just free DVD boot. This is the compatibility list and you can find out this information on your own by just simply going to the version information, which is in your PlayStation 2 home screen, looking at your console number. So in this instance, I was just looking for this 77001 and then I matched it down here at the bottom to the SKU model that was listed and the status for that did show that it was yes and that it should work. And you can simply jump over to this link again if you have a DVD drive working and you can scroll down a bit here and there is just simply an ISO image and you just click here, you download it. And once you have that downloaded, you'll use something like Image Burn to burn that to a disc, which will allow your unmodified PlayStation 2 Slim to boot up to the point to where you can run custom ELFs. I went to this installer here, version 1.966. I clicked on the download button here. And from here, I went ahead and I just extracted it. Once it was extracted, copy and then paste that into our USB drive. And you could put these files just on the root of the USB drive if you wanted to. Um, I would also recommend not having necessarily this long of a folder name. Okay, so here is what my current PlayStation 2 Slim looks like. I have my burnt DVD-R that has free DVD boot, I have a empty Sony memory card that we're going to put free McBoot version 1.966 on it. And then finally, I have the USB thumbstick that has all of the installation files that we copied earlier. And so you'll be presented with this screen once your PlayStation 2 boots up. Hit the circle button for the file browser and skip over to the section mentioned below to continue the installation process. And if you are wanting to create an additional free McBoot card from a card that you already have onto a new card, then check out the instructions coming up. Okay, so at this point, I'm wanting to create another free McBoot card where maybe I can give a friend or maybe use it for another system somewhere in the house. In this instance, take your original free McBoot card and put it in memory slot zero. Take the empty Sony Magic 8 8 megabyte card and put it in slot one. And then, of course, you're going to need that same exact USB thumbstick inserted into a USB port. And I booted up my PlayStation 2 Slim with the free McBoot card in there. I went to this option, which is Launch Elf. And I navigated down to the Mass folder. And then I went down to where it says FMCBinstaller.elf. And I hit the circle button again. Okay, so it boots up to the main menu. And before we do any work here, the first thing that I was going to do is I was just going to format all of the data that was off of that other memory card. So you can use the L1 buttons. You can navigate around. I went to format memory card here and just went ahead and selected that with X. And this is in slot two. And yes, on this prompt here. And my memory card was completely formatted. Now I went ahead and I hit the L1 button. And again, and then I went to multi-install. So multi-install makes a free McBoot card that works on any console regardless. So fat models, slim models, etc. If you do install here, it will make one for the current machine that you're basically on. I went to multi-install and OK to this first prompt, slot to, and then another yes right here. And we began the installation process. Installation doesn't take very long. You will not see anything kind of crazy happening on the PlayStation 2. It kind of does most of this just silently. All right, you'll finally get to installation completed. Go ahead and hit OK. And you can go ahead and you can exit out of the installer here. 
and then OK. OK, so booting back up the console, I can see up at the top it does say 1.966. Now we have a working free boot memory card. The other thing that we're going to need is we're going to need a application that's called Open PlayStation Loader. So you can get that from a couple of different ways. In my instance, for this tutorial, I copied it off of an existing memory card that I already had. But I'm also going to show you how to download it and put it on a USB thumbstick and copy it over that way. Okay, so if you head over to this URL, which will be linked in the description below, you're going to want to come over here and you're going to want to download the version 1.1.0. So this is the latest build. And depending on when you watch this, there may be another build that comes out. I tend to stay away from some of these beta builds or these pre-release builds, but it's totally up to you. Go ahead and scroll down the page and you'll see a couple of different options here. Uh, the one that I typically take is a 7-zip file. So this one right here, OPN PS2 LD. And I would download this one. And then once this has been downloaded, let's go ahead and extract it. Okay, so here is the file that I just downloaded. I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to right click on this. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to extract it. Once this has been extracted, we're just going to go inside of the folder. So we'll come down to our USB drive here, and we're just going to paste this into that folder. Now, in order to start using this file, it's just as simple as taking your USB drive, inserting it into your PlayStation 2, heading back to the file browser, and then copying and pasting this file from the USB drive back over to your memory card. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to run the launch elf program and we're going to go to where it says mc1 and i'm going to go over to boot open playstation launcher so i've marked with x and now i'm going to do r1 to get myself a menu and we're going to go copy and now we're going to go back to our memory card zero i'm going to go back over to the boot folder here you'll see there's nothing inside of this let's go ahead and r1 and let's paste Okay, so now we can see the files are on there. I went ahead and I rebooted my machine here. And you may be wondering, where is OPL? And well, that is because we have to actually specify those first. So go ahead and go down to where it says Free McBoot Configurator. Hit O, and then scroll down to just where it says Configure OSD SYS Options. And go to where it says Configure Item. And you'll see that's number one. Let's go ahead and go to one that is empty. So six is the first one that I had. And so again, you can put these wherever you would like. So configure item. And now we need to give it a name. I'm just going to give mine OPL. And then for the path, I'm going to specify where we just put that. So that's back over here in the boot. And then OPN PS2 LD. And from here, go ahead and hit the return button. And don't forget to save the CNF to memory card zero. So if you don't do this, it will not show up. So make sure you set OK on that. You should see up at the very top, it says that it has been saved. And then you're going to simply go down to exit. Feel free to go ahead and reboot your PlayStation 2 Slim yet again. You should be able to scroll down and you should see OPL. OK. So we have OPL installed now. And if we want to, we can go ahead and we can run this. This is going to allow us to run our game backups, settings, and then I change the USB device to auto and then OK. And then make sure you go save changes. And so I already had some games on a USB drive. Uh, for the most part, you just have to put your ISO images into a folder called DVD on your USB drive. And here's the games that I had. Thank you so very much for watching. Feel free to leave a like, a comment, hit that subscribe button, and I will see each and every one of your beautiful faces on the next video. Michael out.